Welcome to this YSL tutorial. In this session we're going to teach you how to use indicators in reporting services. What you'll learn in this session is how to use graphical indicators to represent a range of numbers in a report. We'll show you how to add an indicator to a table, how to assign that indicator to a field in the dataset, we'll talk to you about how to control the range of numbers that an indicator displays, and finally how you can add multiple indicators to the same panel. So let's get started. Indicators provide a simple way to graphically represent a range of numbers. In our example we're going to use a set of traffic light style symbols, so a red, amber and green circle to represent the film's running time in minutes. To get started you need to head back to the design view. And to add an indicator to a table you need to use the toolbox on the left hand side of my screen and you simply need to drag an indicator tool into a blank cell in the table. When I release the mouse button, eventually I'll be asked which set of indicators I'd like to use. Now you don't have to worry too much about which set you choose at this point because you can change literally everything about your choice later on. To begin with I'm going to go with a basic straightforward red, yellow, green set of three traffic lights. If I choose OK, I'll see that symbol then gets added to the column in the table. Before I preview the report, the last important thing to do is to tell reporting services which range of numbers this indicator should represent. To do that, you can click onto the indicator you just added, and that will expose the gauge data panel. There's an option in this list now that says Indicator 1 Unspecified. If I click on the drop down arrow next where it says Unspecified, I can choose to attach that indicator to one of the columns in my dataset. If I choose Film Runtime in Minutes, and then Preview the Report, eventually I'll see that I have a range of different colours next to films with different lengths. Once you've added an indicator to a table, you can then start to think about all the ways you might want, like to tweak it. In my example, I'd like to change it so that the red indicators appear next to films which have a running time of less than 100 minutes, yellow symbols next to those between 100 and 150, and green only for those that are more than 150. So to make those changes, I need to go back to the design view. And I need to view the indicator properties, so I can do that by right-clicking on the indicator itself. In the drop-down list, there will be a list, uh, an option called Indicator Properties, and when I select this, I'll get a dialog box on which there's a Value and States tab. When I select this option, now I've got access to all the options that will allow me to change the way the numbering works. By default, Reporting Services determines which indicators to use based on a percentage. You can see this option here, States Measurement Units uses the percentage. So anything in the first 33% of runtime in minutes values is a red symbol, and then the second 33% and the third 33% and so on. To control my numbers, I want to first of all change the percentage to using or looking for numeric values. If I look for change that option, I can now specify the exact values in the ranges at the bottom to determine which indicator to show. So I'm going to start with uh, between 0 and 100. That's everything up to and including 100. On the next row, I'm going to go from 101 to 150. And then finally, from 151 to any arbitrarily high number, I suppose, at this point. It is possible to calculate the maximum number in a range, but I'm going to just stick with the number that I know will not be exceeded at this point with anything in my table. If I choose OK and then preview my report again, I should see now that the correct symbol is appearing next to the correct number. So far we've controlled the upper limit of our range of numbers in a fairly rough and ready way. We simply typed in the uh, quite a high number uh, of a thousand and hoped that any of our film runtime minutes wouldn't exceed that value. Now, there's a slightly more robust way you can do that. If you head back to the design view, 
right click on the indicator again and choose indicator properties back to the value and state tab and then instead of typing in just a simple high number there we can use the FX button to build a calculation I'm going to delete the value 1000 from the list and then look for the common functions category and then the aggregate section in there will be a function called max and if I double click the max function it types in the syntax for me at the top of the dialog box I can then ask to find the max of film runtime minutes so I can click on the fields list here and then double click film runtime minutes if I close around brackets then I know that this expression calculates the highest value in the entire field if I choose OK and choose OK again when I preview the report I won't see any change in the actual symbols next to the different numbers but I do know that if any value now increases if I, if I increase the, uh, the range of numbers in the field that my symbols will automatically take that into account it's possible to put more than one indicator in the same cell in a table so in this example we so far have one set of indicators representing a film's Oscar nominations where a red circle is awarded for nominations between 0 and 3 a yellow circle between 4 and 6 nominations and a green one for 7 or more what I'd like to do as well is have a second indicator sitting alongside this one which represents the wins, Oscar wins so to do that I need to head back to the design view now to add a second indicator to a table cell you don't drag it from the toolbox as you did previously instead what you need to do is right click into the cell and choose to add an indicator at that point you'll be asked which set of indicators to use I'm going to go with a set of flags this time just to make it more obvious that there's a, there's a separate set and then choose OK and again just as previously I'll need to make sure that that set of indicators is assigned to a particular field if I select the indicator can you see that the, the panel now says gauge data has a list of all of the indicators in the same panel so I've already set the Oscar nominations this one I'm going to set to be the film Oscar wins as previously reporting services will decide which flag to show next to which number but I like to control that by right clicking onto the flag and choosing indicator properties and on the value in states tab I can modify the percentages to numerics and then I can modify the start and end for each range I'm going to go with the same set of symbols or same number ranges as for the Oscar nominations the, uh, the traffic light style symbols if I then choose OK and preview the report I'll get a second set of indicators in the same panel if you've enjoyed this training video you can find many more online training resources at www.wisel.co.uk